Hey, this is Adam Lane with PuckNow.com. We've got Navigon for Windows Phone installed right here, so uh, let's take it for a spin. Okay, before we start Navigon, let's see if it integrates with anything like Bing. So here's a uh, Bing map location of a restaurant, and we can see sometimes apps integrate it with it like there's a reserve button that open table added so let's swipe to the apps and we do not see anything for Navigon so if you're looking for a location in Bain it's not going to be easy to get it into Navigon. I can copy this but let's see how we get it into Navigon. Here's our warning so let's enter an address and if I paste, it's uh, not going to do that very well because it's looking for just the city. So you have to delete that, and delete that, and then maybe you'll get that. And now you have to get the street, so it's kind of a pain because we got to delete everything here. And maybe it'll find, well... It's not even going to find the street because i got to delete the number. So this is kind of a pain. But now I can finally go there and here's your map and here's your options. I can save it to the, I can pin it to the start menu. I can send the destination to text message or email. Uh, there's my favorites and I can press play. And even that hasn't started the navigation instructions yet. I have to choose which route I want. And now it's going to... turn left onto Ardsley Avenue East. So this is hooked up to my uh, stereo with Bluetooth, so I'll be able to hear it. Now, you're probably going to want to know, does it work in the background? So right up ahead, I'm supposed to make a left turn. Here, let's listen to it again. In 150 feet at the T-junction, turn left onto Ardsley Avenue East. So let's see how that works, but I'm going to go to a different app first. Alright, so here we're driving. And I'm coming to the intersection. I'm going to go right instead of left because it told me to go left. But it didn't say anything. So it does not run in the background. I go back to it. It's going to reload. And it recalculates my instructions. Washington Avenue. So that's actually okay. It'll uh, recalculate your destination pretty quickly. In 400 feet, turn right and we can drive around. Roland Road. So let me pull over again and... Uh, show some other things. This seems like a good spot. Now turn right onto Roland Road. So there's that. Uh, let's go back to the home screen. There we are. So my destinations is a place where it says recents and, and favorites. So you can have quick access to those. You can also repin them. So when they're in there you can pin them to the start menu uh, for quick access. You can get contacts but every time it has to reload your whole contact list like this. So you gotta wait a minute for it to be able to search. I'm not even gonna wait, I'm gonna go back. Coordinates is just gonna show me where I am. Okay, if we swipe over here, you get points of interest. So we can choose nearby. And we can just choose all categories. And it's going to load stuff that's nearby, so you can see everything there and choose whatever you want. You can also sort by category, of course. And you have quick access. Uh, let's see, settings. Here's our settings. 3D map. Red light cameras. 
traffic. Now here's the reality scanner. Uh, we don't have any points of interest, but it should show up on the screen, which is pretty cool. Okay, so here we are, point of interest settings. This is where we can choose which ones show up on the home screen. You got your GPS info, make sure it's working. And if you just want to look at the map while you drive, you got that. And down here we have traffic information. You also want to see if the music plays while we're driving. So let's try that. Now turn right onto Roland Road. And you probably heard that it does right there. However, the voice is not uh, louder than the music. So it's kind of hard to hear while you're playing music. Let's play it again. Can you hear that? It doesn't lower the volume of the music so that I can hear the voice instructions every time, like some of the older ones from, you know, 2003 used to work. Anyway, that's Navigon. Uh, offline maps work nicely when you uh, don't have to uh, download everything all the, all the time. <laughs> you don't have to be connected all the time, so you can rely on having maps in your device, which is great. And it works pretty good, as long as you're in the program while watching. <laughs> so give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video of Navigon for Windows Phone, and uh, that's it for now.